floors. In Texas, we would just say that this is just a lot of hot air um, blowing here, and it ain't a whistleblower. Uh, by having this hearing before the majority makes even basic information about your claims available to us, Chairman Jordan is doing us all a disfavor. We're meeting without knowing. In, the, in his opening remarks, he said that he had brought you here to have you uh, tell us what you have seen and what you have been had witnessed. Yet, we really still don't know because you haven't told us anything. I went through your whole witness statement, and there's nothing in there about what you saw or what you heard. That's it's not just, true. That's sir, not it's true. just a bio That's and false. your political statements. I read the whole thing, sir. That's false. So by having this hearing before us today, uh, the majority makes even basic information about your claims not available to us. So Chairman, do Chairman Jordan is just doing us all a disservice. He's doing the minority a disservice by not allowing us to vet your claims, to be able to adequately ask you questions. Frankly, he's doing you a disservice, sir, by all the lights and cameras before his claims have even been examined. Heard by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton in retaliation for accusing him of crimes came to a settlement with the Attorney time General. To, time the delay is expired. Mr. Here, Mr. Chairman. He had to settle for $3.3 $3 million. Dollars. Chair now recognizes. wanted to make Mr. sure some information. Chair now recognizes get out. the gentleman That's from what California. Do. The gentlelady, this is my time. I've been recognized. Thank you. Uh, Mr. O'Boyle. Is it true that you have 157 pages of questions that were asked you on a bipartisan basis that are in the record? To my knowledge, that's correct. Mr. Friend, isn't it true that for those several hours you, you accumulated 198 pa pages of Q&A? Someone needs to tell the Democrats, I think, Gentleman Friend, somebody tell the Democrats you came and talked to this committee because you're a whistleblower. Isn't that right, Mr. Levitt? Yes, sir. That's exactly how it works. May I take a moment to address this idea that these aren't whistleblowers? Sure. <laughs> the law. You need to educate the, 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 the members on the other side of the dais here. You don't need educating. The way I'm that educating. the law... Mr. Chairman... Uh, this is my I, time. I, I, I did not Let's stop the be, clock. Be demean. I am a lawyer just like this gentleman is. I, too, have read the law. We just have a big... Now your time. The time belongs, the time belongs to me. Mr. Levitt, has, is Mr. Levitt has been asked you a question. You need to stop demeaning so your colleagues. So the whistleblower well. statutes protect protected activity, right? One doesn't have to be retaliated against in order to be a whistleblower, right? We all agree that's not the way that it should happen. And what's being discussed today is that you're not a whistleblower unless you both share this engage in protected activity and then are retaliated against and then go through this process. The Department of Justice Inspector General is currently investigating the claims of Mr. Friend and Mr. Allen. That's exactly what, I don't know what perfect whistleblower there would be, but when you, if they did that, these are the steps they would take. And so by this definition, they're not considered a whistleblower for- Mr. Boyle, you went up your chain of command with your concerns, is that right? Yes, sir, I initially started with them and those initial complaints fell on deaf ears. Then you came Then you came to the House Judiciary Committee with those concerns, is that right? After going to my local congressman, then I, I came to the judiciary. Exactly like the law prescribes for you to do when you see something that is wrong. You did that. So did Mr. Friend, so did Mr. Allen. You'll back to the gentleman from California. Mr. Levin, briefly,